Bien. You need that and stop fooling around. You got to work with you. You got to do something before that way, before I become the second best inventor in Athens. That night, Dalen couldn't sleep. He was so angry and jealous. Finally, he saw a plan that made him feel better. He jumped out of bed and rushed to Caleb's room. Caleb, I was too harsh with you today. Forgive me. Come with me now. Though I'd like you to help me on a project right now. It's very important on top of Athena's temple. I could use your advice. Wow, this is great, but we're there around for real now. It's so dark. It shouldn't take long. <coughs> for the dark side of the room, the temple game is carried out in evil spot. I've been asked to build a statue for that side of the tower. Lean over the edge and tell me if you think it's possible. Well, it looks dangerous, Prince. You say so. As Caleb leaned over, they don't give him a swift push to set the youth hurtling toward the paving stone. Before he hit the ground, he he flapped his arms and wrapped his feet, dancing skyward. You see, Athena had walked a long hole and stuffed it, and a flash had killed him with a bird, a bird, a partridge to be set, and spirit, and so spirit of life. Then she had a few words with her former favorite. You are a very sick man, Eulis. I'm tempted to take her all powers and give you, but I won't. Instead, I'm going to banish you to Athens, just wander through the world, pray that someone will teach you, they will have other countries. Daedalus wandered about, sailing from country to country until he was came to the island of Crete, where the evil King Minos was looking for a great investor. 
Daedalus was hired on the spot, and he soon settled down, married, and had a son. The boy's name was Icarus, and Daedalus loved him very, very much. <coughs> now, after of working for Minus, Daedalus was given the job of designing the labor that would help Minus to move his foot, the Minotaur. For those of you who don't know, the labor was amazed, and the Minotaur was a powerful creature that was killed by a human named Thesis in the story of the Minotaur. The palace guard brought in Daedalus, his hands bound behind him. A few steps behind them, and her also stood son. What do I do with you? He was still a mentor and escaped from the labyrinth. Only you can help me do him do that. Think that matters for for here and all the dear Ariane. Should we ask something now? No, I just thought I'd finish with punishment. Take the mayor and his son to the center of the maze and live there without a clear mark. We'll let the mayor be trapped in his own invention. I have one request, Your Highness. My son is afraid of the dark. Will you please have a supply of camp to take with us so at least his last hour will be a little less frightening? Very well, have your camp. That way you'll see each other's stars. Eagles and Icarus were blindfolded, brought to the center of the maze, and left there, keeping the adventure and his son in their place by threatening them with arrows and spirits to guard their fate for death. Father, what will we do? I'm worried and hungry. We must, we must think of some way out of this. I'm thinking as fast as I can, son, but even if we escape from this maze, my army will catch us. We make to the sea, the king's name will capture our ship for our miles in short. He was stayed awake all that night. He had just not given up when the, when the dripping of birds signaled that the sun was about to rise. You would have to be a bird to escape from my mission. That's it. Wake up, my son. We've got work to do. What? Father, have you gone crazy? Just listen to me. Remember those bird calls they taught you? Use them now. Call down as many birds as you can quickly. Ignorance may sound that indicated the call the black birds, seagulls, and other birds. Here the call the birds swooped down toward the mentor and his son in the maze. The two quickly snapped as many feathers as they could. Luckily, the birds only lost a few feathers each. Now, now we use the wax from the candle to hold the feathers like this. Father, please tell me what you do. I'm making wings. These feathers and wax are going to make wings that will carry us out of this maze away from this island. Mine is making control of the land, but he's going to can't control the sea. We'll fly away. And the sky will fly away. And just today, Jesus made two sets of wings for himself and the sun. Then they practiced the wings until they knew they came to fly. Before you go, pay attention to my words, big bird. Fly right behind me, you hear? Don't fly too low, or the spray from the sea will wipe your wings and pull you down. Don't fly too high either. If you fly too close to the sun, the wax that keeps the wings out will. Mountain, you'll fall into the sea. Father, I promise I'll obey you. The two set out the great bay. They flapped above the walls of the ladder and over the mines of the kingdom. The people below didn't know what to think. That's the strangest pair of birds I've ever seen. No, it must be two gods visiting the earth. These are the best things. Just remember what I told you. Be careful. It feels great to be flying and gliding. Sorry. Look out. Look at this. Look how high I can go. Look at this dive I can do. There is no time to be fooling around. And stay close behind me. We're, we got to get to land as soon as we can. When his father's back was turned, it could spread his wings and soared as high as he could. As high as he could. He felt the rays of the sun warming his body. He felt the currents of his air taking him higher and higher. This was the tide of the prairie swimmer. He turned to I touched up with my father in a second. After being in the full vibrant, it was crazy and fun. But something began to compare to wrong. Icarus. Icarus as soon as he began to get heavier and heavier. When he started to feel some melting wax forming his arms, he the boy turned and looked to see what was happening. He saw a feather drop from his wings. Now he remembered what his father had said. Oh no, father, help me. But the boy was far behind, his voice could not reach his father's ear. Before long, Hundreds of feathers were falling from him in the rain. The rangers were dropping fast into the blue sea below. The way to go frantically, but it did no good. Flying ahead, Dato was lost in thought. Now, if I could build wings for a whole army, that'd be something. We could fly back to Crete and uh, surprise Minus. I could be King Icarus. How long do you think it would be to do that? Turning around, you see, if you saw that he was, a, he was alone in a beautiful cloudless sky. His heart pounded as he, sur as he circled back, then saw what he had most feared. Icarus, floating lifeless in the sea. Daedalus landed on the first island he saw, and he missed the fisherman in there to bring the body of his son back. He buried Sigurd on that island. As he said goodbye to his son, he noticed a bird sitting on the branch of the tree overlooking the grave. It was a partridge, too. 
the exact, the kind of bird of Nephi Taylor's had become when Jesus pushed him off the temple of the so many years before. At last, Jesus understood how wrong and cruel that plan had been. Now, as all of his son's life had been taken from him. For the rest of his life, it is said, Jadel lived quietly in the island of Cilicia, making toys for the children there. He easily could have won fame and fortune if he had built on his fine idea for the death of his son, causing him to hang up his wings and his desire for fame for others. Yeah. Yay! Alright, come up. Come up center for a bow. Okay. Go get everybody together, everybody together. Wait, wait, wait. Go that way a little bit. Go that way. Go that way. That way. Alright, alright. One, two, three. Yay! Alright. Good job. Nicely done, nicely done. 